five to nine. The last days for getting your Christmas presents and cards in the post are fast approaching. Yes, it's the busiest week of the year for Royal Mail. They say they'll handle a billion pieces of post this month. Steph is at a sorting office at Exeter and she's got messages about when we must post things as well. Oh, there's Santa's helpers too. Morning. Good morning to you. Yes, Santa's helpers are really busy here this morning. A lot of the work has already been done. They've been in since five this morning getting all of those uh, parcels and letters out. But they've had to take on an extra 150 staff in order to cope with the Christmas demand, uh, making the total here about 350 people. And on the busiest day, they're dealing with around one million items of post. So obviously a busy time. Got a couple of people here who are users of uh, Royal Mail services. First of all, we've got Sharon uh, representing the card industry and with us as well, David, a small business owner. So, um, Sharon, just give us an idea with lots of letters, as you can see, even behind you now being sent out. How's the card industry doing at the minute? The card industry is, is doing very, very well. Thank you very much. We're going to be sending or giving or sending a billion Christmas cards this year. Um, and what I'd like to say is that there's still time to send your Christmas cards. Um, if there's anybody who you know who's lonely, who you think could do the pep up, I'm sure they'd love to get a card or an elderly person or someone who's feeling a bit down. Cheer them up. Send them a card. And a billion people, how, many, how does that compare to previous years? It's about the same as last year, so it's not dropped off at all. We send more cards uh, than anywhere else in the world. So if you go to Europe, they don't really send Christmas cards. So um, it's brilliant. We send 31 cards per person every year. So that's all types of cards. Wow, that is a lot of cards, isn't it? And, and David, for you, you rely on the service to get all of your products out to customers, don't you? Yeah, that's right. We've got two days left now to send out as many bamboo socks and bamboo clothing as we can. So. Yeah, it's been a busy time and uh, yeah, we rely completely on, on uh, our provider. Yeah. And, and interesting for you, you had Black Friday was a big element to your business again this year, wasn't it? Tell us about that. Yeah, I mean, it's slightly tongue in cheek because it's a it's very American thing, but uh, we did a little offer and uh, yeah, broke all sorts of records. So yeah, yeah it's been the whole, the whole period has been fantastic for us. And has it been all right getting all of that stuff out? Because we've heard from other retailers saying, you know, that, 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 and delivery companies that it was tricky because so many people ordered then. No, we've, we've stayed on top of it. So we're on top of it and our, our provider, Royal Mail, is on top of it. So I think once you fall behind, you're in real sticky water. So we try and stay on top of it every day. Excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, uh, both, for your time this morning. I have just noticed one thing I just want to show you before we go. Uh, is that bigger? Look at this. I know we found your presents earlier from Santa. Yeah. But what, look at Carol's. Let me try and see. If I have a Carol. look at this. I can't even pick it up. It's that heavy. Oh. And look at the stamps, what beautiful stamps. Has it, <laughs> yeah, has it, Steph, has it got bottles in it? Uh, yeah, it, uh, well, let me have a go. I reckon biscuits and uh, alcohol is probably in here. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Good. Can't pick it up, that's definitely got to be bottles. I yeah. love the way it says <laughs> Lady, Lady Carol, Carol Kirkwood. Lovely. All Brilliant. right, thanks a lot. See you later, Steph. Cheers. Just make sure you bring it back safely, Steph.